This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. And welcome back to another episode, another quickie episode of FFPÖ. My name is Paul and this is... My name is Nelson. Hello Nelson. And this is also our first official drunk episode. Because we watched... Raumpatrouille Orion. Or Orion. Space or Patrol Orion. Space Patrol Orion. Okay. Space Patrol Orion. And we saw, watched the, the, the second episode. <clears throat> It was... Way better than the first one, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, and last guess, time we established some rules for the next episode. For drinking. For drinking. Yes, we played a drinking game. You can play along. We will post the, uh, the rules of the drinking game in the uh, description. But uh, for your enjoyment, we're going to read the rules now. So if there's any kind of sexism going on during the episode, you have to drink. You, if there's some weird dancing going on, you have to drink. There wasn't any. Yes, sadly. in this one. In this one. Sadly. In future episodes, maybe. Then there, if you have, uh, if they use letters and numbers in a weird combination as a form of like a name Al like alpha 921560 yeah yeah example. or oscar charlie mikey franklin november uh, theodore Juliet. roosevelt 37 exactly then you have to drink then if you uh, hear a robot voice then you have to drink and last but not least if they use the german Germanized version of extraterrestrial in this in this version extra terraria extra extra terrestrial yes or if aliens show up at any point because the special yeah, effects yeah. on those are bonkers as well then you have to drink and we are pretty smashed after this episode yeah. and what we forgot about to talk about in the last ep in the last quick episode is the plot Oh, we, yeah. we totally, totally forgot about the plot, but quick recap of the first episode. Uh, we have the, 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 the gung-ho, uh, don't care for the rules, uh, commander of the spaceship Orion. Captain Kirk. Yeah, basically he's Captain Kirk. Yeah. He's like, he looks like Adam Sandler, but he is Captain Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> and his motley crew. and and. Plane. Yes, McLean and they uh, go to an abandoned or non-communicative uh, uh, space station in the first episode where there are aliens. Then they fight the aliens, kill the aliens. Now the human race knows that there are aliens. That's basically the plot of the first episode, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. so let's quickly go to the second episode, which is far more interesting. Like the first one established the character and they took the time and everything. This episode in only had, in my opinion at least, one slow moment. And that was the initial uh, scene where they talked about, where the military staff talked about <laughs> Taking a planet yeah. turning into a supernova and hurtling directly at Earth at half the speed of light. Which is a bonkers sentence to say now, but back then probably people were like, oh, okay, that's, that sounds right. And, and it would take like 300 years to reach Earth. Yeah, again, half, like the, the nearest, the nearest, or? the nearest, no, so the nearest thing to Earth is like 36 light years away. Yeah, yeah. So at half light speed, it would still take the fucking thing to get here in like 72 years. Yeah. And yeah. They, they make a big thing about it. Yeah. Really big. Huge thing. Huge thing. So <laughs> that thing is hurtling towards Earth and it's apparently really close. And, mo uh, and it's detected by uh, <laughs> General Van Dyke. Like Dick Van Dyke. Like Dick Van Dyke but way harder and, and way more capable and a woman 
and a woman yeah and she's steering that craft with her very stubbornly and actually she's 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 a female lead role that's in a high position that doesn't fuck up yeah she's kind of like uh, diana troy yeah yeah she she's doing really well and that was again 1967 or something so good job there german austrian tv production from the 60s yes really well done and they try to stop the supernova because it's uh, guided by the aliens, which are yeah. now termed frogs, colloquially. Yeah. Um, because they move weirdly. They like, move re- weirdly. That's and, it. And they, they're like on Earth. Uh, not not no. Earth, uh, but I mean, they're, they live on the surface of some kind of planet or something. It's that, weird. Something like that. Yes. So they're frogs. And to try to destroy the Earth for some reason, they some have something against Earth, and they don't, they don't like the way that we look. Apparently, I guess. yeah, yeah, they 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 hate the they just the, hate us. The, the haircuts from they the they hate 60s. us because they ain't us. Yeah, they hate us because they ain't us. Definitely. So <laughs> they um they they. The, the military staff and the, the, the government argue about evacuating Earth or leaving Earth to die and everything that. Or and in the meantime, yeah. McLean and his crew try to stop the supernova. Yeah. Fuck talking. Yeah, fuck it's... talking. Let's do stuff. And they succeed by... Dis- well, they try to succeed by destroying the base of operations of the aliens, which has a, like a guidance yeah. beacon We'd... for... Yeah. For the for the supernova, however that works, I don't know, because that would mean that the supernova has some kind of charge, yeah, or some kind of you know uh, um, um, guidance systems installed, but you can't install a guidance system. It's sci-fi. Or, or maybe, I don't. I don't or maybe they we shouldn't give a fuck. Or maybe they destroy it, but there's another guidance system. Which maybe you can't, which maybe you can't okay. Find. Yes. So what they try to do is now. Use the experimental methods of the uh, doctor, <laughs> who looks like, at least in my opinion, like every bartender in Austria, <laughs> with the losing, like every middle-aged bartender, with the losing hair and everything. He looks really Austrian. Probably it's still a German. But they um, kill. Uh, they try to explode the the rip apart the supernova yeah. by exploding anti-matter bombs in its vicinity. That doesn't work, but hurts a lot of the crew because they get so close that the radiation and everything mm. really hurts them. And there we have a really nice scene with a spray. Yeah. The spray was pretty awesome. Yeah. Was, Tell uh, us more about the spray, Nelly. The, sp- the spray is a, I guess, like a first aid spray. Yeah, the, the, like the tricorder from, from Star Trek. Yeah, you just spray on the wound, and the wound just like comes off like uh, like it's like a scab, like it's glue. Yeah, exactly. Well, it, dry it is glue. really dried out glue. It's apparently it's probably glue. Yeah, as a set piece, as, as like you know, as makeup. But yes, yeah. like yeah. that was pretty cool. Then they had something about uh, oh yeah, they they showed there there were some other interesting things like a drone. At the beginning of the show. Oh yeah. Oh, and he did a really cock thing with the shirt oh, and yeah. and showing chest, hair, chest hair, showing his chest hair. That was that was uh, McLean definitely the, did a cock thing there. And, <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, the the episode itself, by the way, is of course called Planet of Course. Of course. Planet also course. Yeah. 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 Um, do I still have... Oh, yeah. It's still, I only have written Wait. down. It's getting hot in here. Yeah. Yeah. I, that, I that, that's it. That's I haven't it. written anything. Yeah, because we had to drink a lot in that episode concerning the rules of the game. Yeah, I'm still uh, feeling weird. Yeah, you, yeah, me too. Me too. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, Cheers to that. Cheers. Yes. Mm. Um, yes. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. No stream run, you know. Yeah. Um, got a drink hard, drink hard to play hard or something. Um, we uh, just a quick recap. Soundtrack again on point. Always good. 
the episode nearly doesn't have that many slow points as the first episode yeah, yeah, like that was action nearly through and through i think the actors are way better oh the staring thing oh yeah, yeah. That, that that should be a meme or something oh that like, definitely should be a meme that was amazing yeah uh captain kirk or um alistair mclean yeah cliff alistair mclean cliff, cliff, cliff alistair mclean yeah he Clallister McClane. He is talking to some colleague over a uh, intercom. Yes. And while he's doing that, his female colleague, the blonde one. No, well, she actually she, is kind of a superior. Yeah, she, she's like a superior. She like watches. She's the sec from the security yeah. service, which is kind of like a mixture she, of. She just she just makes sure if he doesn't fuck up or. Yeah, she, he, she's her like call. she's like what's the name the guy from from Hunting Red October. Oh, um, this this the Sean Connery character? No, the Sam not, Neil character. Yeah, or? Sam Neil. Yeah, oh, he's oh, basically the, the, she's basically second, Sam Neil. Sec, second lieutenant, let's say. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Like that. but she still has superiority in certain si situations. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, she stared at him uh, like with two one and a half minutes or something. Ah, uh, it was it was amazing. It was about pretty one, good. Pretty good. Blinking or anything. Yeah, that was that was that was quite something. Yeah. Um again, really cool action scenes. The special effects were on point like the <laughs> even though it looked like a flaming marshmallow the supernova. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we, cra we cracked up when we first saw the supernova. <laughs> it was pretty funny. But in the end when like oh yeah, they destroyed the supernova of course. Let's give that like the, the last plot point. They destroyed the supernova by flying the uh, by Orion es by escaping in the Escape pods from the yeah. Orion. Yeah, and I flying the Orion just, into the yeah, supernova. They just leave the Orion there to be destroyed by the supernova, and they're both therefore destroying the supernova. Yeah, because they have enough energy in the yeah. ship or yeah, something. They, like they overcharge it. They have like an atom bomb in there. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, okay, whatever. They yeah, destroy they get rid of the supernova. Yeah, so they're gonna get Orion 8 now, not Orion 7. And. Yeah, they destroy it, and the Earth is saved. Everybody's happy. Again, on point most of the time. That that episode way better than the first one, and we have a really funny closing scene where he has to oh, yeah. sign the plans for the new, well, plans and also like a justification for the destruction of the last one. <laughs> Of yeah. his last ship, apparently he went through six other ships before that. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, and, yeah, and this guy hands like six different papers, pieces of paper to sign. Yeah, and he signs it by just typing in some kind of uh, a. Um, yeah, it's like a stamping mechanism. Like a stamping mechanism, like erratically, like tuk 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 yeah. tuk, and then signs it with a pen. Or yeah, something. I don't know, I don't know, and it's and it electronic like, paper. It it's like, like a weird electronic sheet that's like made of circuitry yeah that he's yeah. signing and then they, they crack a joke about uh about what's the supernova yeah exactly and also a, a joke about bureaucracy yeah like now we have to fight bureaucracy or something yeah <laughs> like that's a fight they can't Honestly. win yes excellently done perfectly executed characters on point I'm actually intrigued to see more episodes because after the first one I was kind of on the fence. Yeah. And this one is like, oh yeah, I, I get now what mm -hmm. they what they went for. Pretty good episode. It's not as goofy as the first one, even though preserving some of the humor, um, better special effects, better better the cast is just more in tune to each other. Mm -hmm. Just a better, uh, just better, better episode. A better episode. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. We are signing off now because this is the second quickie episode and we are nearly done with our 15 minutes already. So thank you again for listening and we hope to see you at the next FFPU show. Goodbye. Bye.